Hello, this is Bill Olive, one of the co-founders of Abzu Likes Local, and today this video is going to address how to prepare uh, a successful visibility report for your client. Before we start, I think the most important thing that uh, to, to build a successful report is we must have the proper name, address, and phone number of the client that we're trying to build this report on. The best way to do that is to go into the Google Place page now referred to as the Google Plus Local page and see how it's listed uh, on that particular page. So to do that you need to go to Google Maps uh, and after you go to Google Maps you will look at the top and you'll see a search bar. This search bar is where you type in the name of uh, your client and it, you'll notice here I'm using Yanchuk Berman Wildland Service an attorney firm here in Tarpon Springs specializing in uh, uh, personal injury and, and criminal law and we're going to run the, the visibility report on them. So to do that I want to look at their place page. To find their place page I type their name in the Google bar and then I look over here and see yes here's here they are this is where I want to go and the best way to go to the place page is either to go to the reviews or go to this particular uh, letter that designates the location on the map and when you click on it you will see more information which will take you to the place page or you can actually then go back to the reviews again. So to make it simple I'm going to click on the reviews and that's going to bring up the page and the first thing you want to look for is this profile address that we're identifying here highlighting to make sure that that's the address that you use for your report because that's going to give you the most relevant uh, visibility report. So in this particular illustration 415 South Pinellas Avenue Tarpon Springs Florida 34689 and also notice the phone number here and here it is the correct phone number and it's very important that you look at that and make sure that that is the correct zip code and uh, that the phone number does have an area code into it. Uh, I want to point out here that when you look at this address, 415 South Pinellas Avenue, we don't see any abbreviations. And that's critical that you use that same uh, address, that NAP, name, address, and phone number, on your report. So now let's close this up and let's go back to, um, let's go back to the uh, Lights Local tab and you want to log into your back office and once you log into your back office in Likes Local the first thing you're going to see is this tab across the top you want to go to products you want to go to NetCare and then you look over here on the right hand side uh, and you will see the Likes Local free visibility report where you will enter the phone number of the business you're going to run the report on and this phone number uh, must not be an 800 number it must not be a toll-free number. Let me repeat that. It must be the number that the client uses on their website with the area code to determine uh, how to reach them in that particular local area. So in this case, the area code 727-937-3171 uh, is the correct uh, number. Then you want to click on Check My Visibility. The next thing will pop up will be another uh, verification menu, uh, an input menu that you can look and see, oh yes, this is the firm I'm looking for. This is the address, 415 South Pinellas Avenue, no abbreviations, Tarpon Springs, Florida. Uh, this is the link to their website, and this is their phone number. Another thing you might look at is you would go to the website and see if they have a Twitter uh, icon on their website. If so, click on it and then you'll be able to find the at Twitter address the the actual handle for their for, for them on their business you don't want to put the URL there you want to actually put the name of the Twitter account there they don't have one so I'm going to leave it blank and the next most important thing you can do is to choose keywords for your uh, search you know type in the words that someone would type in if they're looking for a personal injury attorney in Tarpon Springs now I've typed in Tarpon Springs here but you don't need to put the city in uh, it will automatically add the city after the keywords that you choose now here are two 
very important keywords to a personal injury attorney. Personal injury attorney, obviously, and accident attorney. Uh, the next one is slip and fall attorney. Now, those are those are key phrases that people search when they're looking for uh, the specialty of this particular firm. The next thing I'm going to show you, though, is where you do use the city name, and that would be if you decide to put the city name prior to the keyword. For example, some people will, will search Tarpon Springs Personal Injury Attorney. Some people will search Personal Injury Attorney Tarpon Springs. So those are both viable keywords. So in this case, I would use uh, you know the city before the, the keyword uh, phrase just to make sure. And then finally, uh, they also do criminal law, so I will put down the criminal law uh, also. It's not there specially, but it is something that they do. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your name here. Uh, and, and, and you're going to put your email address. It is very important that you put your email address because this is where the address, uh, is, this determines the address where they're going to send the report. Uh, this report will take somewhere between 7 and 15 minutes to, to propagate, and it will be sent to this email address. If you put your client's email address in there, you'll never see it. So don't do that. Make sure you put your email address in there because you want to, number one, get the report, look at it, uh, print it out, and, and understand it before you see your client. And then the next thing, uh, just type in reseller. Uh, eventually, we may, in fact, uh, allow a widget on your website where a client can go in and, and ask and request for their own report. But right now, since you're a reseller of Likes Local, just put reseller. And the next thing you'll do is hit submit because that will create the report. As again, I told you, it will take somewhere between 7 and 15 minutes. I've seen it take 30 minutes, but only because, uh, you know, uh, weather or whatever. So normally you'll get the report back, certainly, within the first half hour. Okay, now I'm going to click out of here because I'm not going to click on this because I've already created the report. And we're going to go here and take a look at this report. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it comes to you. This is an email that came to me at the address that I put uh, on the report and I noticed down here it does list the client yes this is what I'm looking for and here you will click on on uh, click here and up comes the report that you can view okay and I'm just gonna briefly go over this because we're gonna use this uh, go over this in another video uh, first make sure that here we have the proper profile again okay uh, we see a grade here normally this grade is not this high uh, the reason this uh, client has a higher grade is because they are an old client of ours, and there are some things that we've done for them that produce, uh, obviously, success in their search results. Uh, the first thing is going to be the local, where you look at the, the Google Plus local page, the Bing local, and the Yahoo local. It's graded. Uh, next thing is the directories, a uh, grade on the directories. I want to point out that this will... Uh, continue to we'll continue to add directories here. We'll probably be somewhere between 30 and 40 here in the next couple of weeks, and then uh, also we'll go over this other stuff: completion, citation comparison between your client and other uh, attorneys in the area that have the same uh, kind of business, uh, and then locations, uh, reputation, which is a whole new thing. We'll go over in just a few minutes, but notice. They have a great reputation, and the reason is because most of the reputations are high, and there are at least 10 reviews. And then uh, also some web mentions we'll go over when we, when we talk about the report. And then finally, uh, keyword rankings, how you rank in those particular keywords. Notice here, uh, I put Tarpon Springs in there. I didn't need to. Tar personal injury, Tarpon Springs, Tarpon Springs. Uh, it won't show up it, uh, it, unless you put that city in there. Okay, so uh, notice before here we talked about putting in Tarpon Springs prior to the keyword, uh, and, and, and notice that it also added that at the end also. So it adds the city. You don't need to put the city in. Uh, and then finally, social media, how they stack up in the social media. So that's the report that's going to be created. Good luck. And I know this is going to give you a great tool to go out there and write lots of business. Thanks.